in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and apply of all, all of our light plane materials to our light planes, set up our independent control faders, and then go ahead and do a test render. So let's go ahead and select our three main light planes here, which will be these three, and go into our fry render shelf and click our material editor. And I'm simply just going to use this 100 watt li white light, and that'll be fine for now. And then for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and add the studio lamp to it. And then just select these individually and add them to their own fader control so that I can control their intensity independently of each other. And I'm simply just selecting one and then changing the light mixer to its own independent control there. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to now go ahead and bring my camera in. Just scroll back to get in position of where I think I would be rendering the car from, which is right there would be good. Now, I want to go ahead and just change my depth of field for this camera so I can actually capture all the detail here. I just want to go down to the, under the metal ray tab to the depth of field and I'm going to change this to say like 350 and 25 which is going to leave me a little bit of a darker image but that's okay because it's going to capture a lot of the detail and I have a lot of light planes in the scene to actually go ahead and light the scene. So let's go into our render globals here and make sure what we're going to render here with fry render and choose our settings, open our environment settings, uncheck our sun because we aren't going to use the sun, we're actually going to use an environment map here. So let's go ahead and apply an environment map. Oops, wrong image. I'm actually going to use a really high res HDRI there. Let's go into our basic render settings here and just make sure we execute fry render and go ahead and click accept and then click close just make sure I'm just moving a little bit so I can get a better view here okay and once I go ahead and hit render here it's actually gonna take all this geometry into fry render and we can see what our car actually looks like I'm just gonna move the light mixer tab down turn on our linear tone mapping turn this up to about 600 take out our vignetting and move this over and I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the image and overall it looks okay um, I can see that I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and hide the light plane here because if I don't go ahead and actually hide the light plane here we're gonna see this in the render and we don't want to see that so in the next lesson I'll show you how to go ahead and hide the light plane and then we'll go ahead and get started actually applying our materials to our car so that we can then go ahead and render that out.